I told you why she told me whatever that she wants to say. I said, God has the final say. The heart of a king lies in the hands of God. And at the end of it, I said, God, 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 Initially, I want to thank God for the gifts of life. The God that has made us to see the living, may we see the look behind the exalted living of the Although I want to thank Him, there is something good. He has done something special in my life spiritually. That thing He has done in my life spiritually. May He make it to come to manifest in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I recover whatever I lost. I recover whatever I lost. In the name of Jesus, I recover whatever I lost. In the name of Jesus, I recover whatever I lost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am here to say thank you to Jesus for all his goodness, for his faithfulness, for his love, for his kindness, for his super provision, who has been keeping us all and is to be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm here to get a special thank you for my life today. This month of May, two days ago, now is on the feet, made it exactly one year the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The God of heaven, the God who revealed it on night through our mommy, that everybody was just opening prayers. She just came and took the mic that day. I will never forget that day. She said, everybody, pack your seat, pack your seat. That we are going to pray. Does anybody take it serious? That nobody in this place will die. And then I have not become an active member like this. That no member of this compact, she was like praying God, because she's here, that this death was meant to be but by God's mercy. Because she has come here, that this barrier will all be. We can't see that we prayed. After that, she prayed too. And I prayed too before I start, stopped coming. For one reason or the other, then on the May 5th, this accident happened that would have taken my life. But I thank God that God saw it on time and revealed it to the daughter. And she prayed seriously about it. And God used her prayers and the prayers of the brethren to keep me. Today I am alive. God just may have lost it with everything. Even when everything happened, it was as if then we are going to renew things to make sure that since they have failed before, they will not fail again. The woman kept telling me, most that she will come, she will lay her hand on my leg and say, I should worry that with this death, I will walk again. That nothing will happen to me. And especially the, the way my face, God took care of my face my, and other places, that people don't even believe that the fire got to my face and all that. The God is of this commission. It's a wonderful world. I am here to say thank you, Jesus, for the life you have given to me. In that period, many died. Many died. So many died. Even some that even had the accident. They were calling me. How did you do yours? Where did you go for your own treatment? And along the line, many of them still died. It is not by my making. It is not by my power. It is not by my hands. So I am here to say, it is not
without you. Jesus, we are on the beat if not for you. Jesus, we are on the beat if not for you. Mommy gives 
to some persons. When we came to house on that Tuesday, I stood up and said, let's go and pray for this person. On Wednesday, under that rain, we went to go and pray for the boy. My husband took the oil. If you see this boy, all the months, this boy can not eat. As we went there, my husband asked them, have you met him? Said for the betting. After the betting, he started praying. He used that oil on the place. If you are here, whenever they give you this, don't say, ah, let me check whether it will work. My dear, if you say let's check, you don't go work. My husband said, this oil. So I'm going to use it to pray for this boy. It's not to me. This is how he take that oil. After praying, he put the oil inside the boy's in mouth. This boy that cannot eat. This boy, the mother said, ah, he can't. I don't know if he's in the mouth. Oh my God. Wood all over. But instantly, the boy started eating. Jesus, I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be ungrateful to you, Jesus. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be ungrateful to you, Jesus. Saturday, when I was coming back, there's a lot of impactors on the road, which you know, say some drivers hate advice. When you advise them, the way you drive is very good. They always claim that they know they are wiser than you. Amen. Amen. But the last one, I informed the driver that if anything happens, that I will not have single scratch. Other people look at me, why did you say so? I said because I know the God I'm serving. So finally, God grants me successful journey. No accidents, no delay, no disappointment. A time comes that our motor will hang 
because the road was bad. So people was in the hands, why this, why this? I said, God knows why. Because of the rubbish that this driver is driving, other people pass the same road, nothing. Both small cars. So why this bus? So you push should leave everything. God knows what he's doing. So I just here to say thank you for the joining mercy that he allowed me to perish on the road. I say may his name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Yeah.